Hello, my name is Tiffany and welcome to Keystone. In this video, Dennis Urban CDT is going to show you the investing, packing, and curing technique for Diamond D Denture Acrylic utilizing Keystone's microwave techno flask. Thank you, Tiffany. Diamond D Denture Acrylic is one of the leaders in acrylic and dental technology around the world. Because of its natural look and high impact strength, you can rest assured that with Diamond D Acrylic, you can achieve the same quality results time after time for any type of denture case, whether it be a partial, a full denture, or an implant retained denture, the unsurpassed aesthetics, fit, and strength, and bond to denture teeth is something that technicians around the world have accepted as a quality standard on removables. As you can see, the case has been invested in a half and half mixture of plaster and stone. The case is then placed in the microwave for a minute and a half, and the wax is softened and then boiled out. So what you see here is the case after it's boiled out. After the boil out, all the chips and areas are coated with Diamond D separator. So we take the separator and coat the entire gypsum area, and this eliminates the sticking of the acrylic to the gypsum. The Diamond D acrylic is then mixed at a 3 to 1 ratio with 20 minute monomer and Diamond D heat cured polymer. When the acrylic gets to almost to a doughy consistency, we're ready to pack our denture. All right, our, our acrylic is mixed, and we're ready to pack the denture now. As you can see, the acrylic is to a doughy consistency here. It's going to put a little bit in the flask, around the teeth, and over the palatal area. And now we're going to take these plastic sheets. I use two sheets. This enables me to open the flask easier when I'm trial packing. At this point now, we want to close the flasks. Make sure that these notches match up, otherwise the flask won't close easily. We place our bolts back in the flask. And we start tightening them down. Bring them down slowly. This eliminates trapping any air bubbles. All right, we tighten it slowly. We should start seeing some excess coming out of the sides. If we don't, then we know we have to add some more acrylic. As you can see right here, that excess is coming out of the sides. That's what you want to see, because then, then that tells you you have enough compression. I'm not going to tighten down all the way right now almost to the point where you, you can't turn it anymore, but not really tight. At this point, we're going to open up the flask again, and this is where we're going to trial pack. If I see I have enough acrylic in here, I'm just going to add to it once. Lower dentures tend to take more acrylic, therefore more trial packing. As you can see here, this is all the excess on the acrylic. Let's peel this away very carefully, and we take our excess off with our finger, like that. One of the mistakes some people make is they peel this excess off and they put it back in the acrylic. Don't do that because sometimes you'll have separator and plaster mixed in with the acrylic. Take our excess off and now we're going to trial pack it. Put it around where the teeth are and a little bit more on the palatal area. Cover that up. Match up the notches on the back. Take your plastic sheets. If necessary, you can use fresh plastic sheets. All right, this time I'm going to tighten it down all the way. Very slowly. I want to make sure you have good compression. I'm going to wait uh, 20 to 30 seconds after it's tightened all the way. As you can see, the excess coming out of the sides. As I mentioned before, this is one method of packing. The other method is utilizing the metal plate with a compress or a press or a pneumatic press. Either way works fine. I'm going to open it once more. Take the bolts out. That's what you want to see. Nice and shiny. And we'll start taking the rest of the excess off right here, like this. It's a little bit easier the second time. Make sure you take any excess out of the, the holes where the screws are going to go. And now, I'm going to put one more coat of Diamond D separator 
on the model. I'm just going to coat that very lightly. And then we're ready to close. Close that up. We're going to tighten it down. And then we'll put it in the microwave for a four minute cure. It's nice and tight. And your packed denture is all ready to go to be microwaved. What's great about microwave curing, it cures from the inside out, as opposed to other methods of curing, which cure from the outside in. When you're curing from the inside out, it dissipates all the free monomer. So for patients who are allergic to monomer, this is an excellent remedy. So let's go put it in the microwave now. Now we're ready to place the flask in the microwave oven. Let's open the microwave. We want to stand it up like this, as opposed to laying it down, because we get a more thorough cure that way. So right in the middle of the plate here, in the turntable, we close it. We're going to cure this for four minutes. Start. OK, the denture has been cured for four minutes in the microwave oven. We cooled it for, on the bench for 20 minutes, and we put it in cold water for another 10 minutes. So now we're ready to deflask the uh, denture. First thing we do is loosen up the bolts. And then we grab our mallet. We hit on the plate. There's one half. There's that metal plate. Put it back in. And then we hit it on a gypsum. Throw away the pla uh, pieces of plaster and stone. And your flask is ready for the next venture. This is still a little warm, so what we want to do is just cool it down for a second here. That's why it's important not to deflask these right after it comes out of the microwave because you'll get warpage. We take our plaster nipper. And first thing I'm doing, I'm going to grab the corners here like that. I know where my model is now. Go all the way around the model like that. See how nice that comes out? Then I grab the corner like that. Pallet comes out, and I want to do a little bit at a time because if you start breaking this apart in large pieces, you have a uh, chance to break the denture teeth also. There we go. A little flash left, left here. And we're going to clean it off. Get that plaster from in between the teeth. Take your flash off like this. So we take the denture off the model, clean it up, clean the gypsum from in between the teeth. And remember it before, when we packed this denture, it was a nice doughy stage. Now listen to this. That's a high impact acrylic right there. It's impact resistance with just enough flexural strength to give you the right uh, properties in the denture. Now we're ready to finish and polish our denture. We're going to finish it with the Urban 9 Point Finishing System and polish it with the Hatho Polishing Kit. And this is how the finished denture looks. That looks great, Dennis. Thank you. You can get more information about Diamond D Denture Acrylic and Keystone's Microwave Techno Flask and order it online all at keystoneindustries.com or call us at 800-333-3131.